If you guys are looking for some coins to get the best FIFA 18 squads, then check out MuleFactory.com. They're the cheapest site I've found for coins. They deliver in five minutes. And if you use TGC Kurt 5 at checkout, you get 5% off your order. Check them out with the link down below now. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new FIFA 18 squad builder. Today, we're going to be looking at one of the best squads you can use in Foot Champs. This is early on in the year, this is during the first Foot Champs weekend I'm recording it. And I thought I'd go and find a team that I think is a pretty sick squad that covers everything early on in the game. You don't need to be having informs, don't need icons, just sick players in all positions that this team would be good year round. Obviously as the year goes on you might want to replace a few positions with special cards, with icons as you get more coins. But in terms of core players, this is one of the best teams that's relatively realistic for you to be able to get. So that of course means that some of them are quite expensive at the moment. It is actually quite an expensive team but the players will be flying down throughout the year and of course there are some cheaper alternatives you can put in your squad to kind of make it a little bit more realistic if you can't quite afford some of the players in the side. So we're going to start off with the goalkeeper and this one is going to be one that I think I'll be using a lot this year and that is Ostesis Carnesis. It's a name and a half, the Watford player, Orestis, sorry not Ostesis, I got it completely wrong, Orestis Carnesis. This guy is absolutely sick and you're going to see why I like him so much in a minute. It's mainly because of the links you can get from him. Now, if I go ahead and pick the right back, it's going to become quite clear just who I am talking about. So, if we go, we scroll along. I've gone too far. He's 78 rated. You see him right there, Karstorp. We're going down the Roma route, and that, of course, means Manolas is going to be there. But we'll talk about Karstorp first. You can go for Karstorp or Florenzi. I like Karstorp because a little bit quicker with four-star weak foot, really good in the ball. I feel like this year... Fullbacks need pace. I did a draft the other day with James Milner at left back and it was just unplayable because you need your fullbacks to be tucking in behind your centre backs when they get beaten because the forwards really seem to be a lot more capable at actually beating the centre backs this year. To having capable fullbacks, it makes a big difference. So Karstorp is the right back for this squad. You can go for any, uh, I believe you can actually go for any City R right back there. So your, your choices are quite open, but I quite like Karstorp anyway. And then we're going to have Manalas as the right central midfielder. Now Manalas is unbelievable. He was amazing last year. He's amazing this year. Six foot two with the most perfect work rates. High defensive, low attacking. That means he is not going to go forward one bit. He's going to stay exactly where you want him to. Six foot two, 80 damn pace. 86 defending, 83 physical. If you want this guy to be playing out from the back and scoring goals, you're looking at the wrong one. I mean, granted, he does actually have one goal scored there and he's heading... His heading's 80, heading accuracy is 80, so that must have come from a, a corner, I'd assume. But the guy, yeah, 19 shooting and 42 passing, he's not good on the ball. But as an actual defender, he is absolutely fantastic. And of course, he links up with Carnesis, which means we can go into BPL for this left-hand side. Now, there are a few options you can use with this one. I've gone for Chris Smalling, although he seems to have disappeared. At, he's an untradeable, that'll be why. Now, Chris Smalling is absolutely fantastic. He's taken the downgrade compared to last year, but he's still a great player. 72 pace, 81 defending, 83 physical. You can go for any uh, centre-back that links with either of the, the two players we're going to have in these positions, and they're not actually English. So, you can go for a, a Watford centre-back. You could go for Christian Cabasele if you're not a fan of um, of Chris Smalling, of course, Christian Cabasele having 73 pace is pretty OP. And also the other two players that we're going to have uh, are Crystal Palace players. You're not really going to want to go for that. And then Man United, you could use Eric Bailly here if you want to spend a little bit more coins. Um, obviously, Eric Bailly is absolutely unreal. So he's a, he's, a, he's a replacement you could go for if you had a little bit more to spend. But he was just a bit too crazy for me this year, so I stayed away. But a left back... We have Patrick Van Arnholt. Now, you can use any BPL left back in this situation because they're all just going to have weak links to the rest of these players. I just like Van Arnholt, though. He's just a, a pacey player, left foot. It gets up and down that left-hand side. He does seem to offer something. And just, yeah, a big fan of his card. There's not much more you need to say about him. Now, we're going to start to get into some of the big leagues now. And we're going to be looking at Raja Nyangolan. Now, this guy is worth a bomb, 168k. It's up to you as to whether or not you think this is of value to your team. You could possibly switch some of these players up if you didn't want to use Nine Golan, uh, but at the moment you do actually need all the links going to the rest of these players. But he's very, very good box to box. I had the coins to afford him, so I thought he was worth it, but um, he's completely down to you guys. Now this next one, 
I think he's actually a CDM, so I can't just instantly put him straight in as a centre mid. But that is, um, well, I mean, we've given away who's next as well there, but that is Nemanja Matic. What a beast this guy is. Actually got two goals, playing as the holding, basically the holding defender. When I'm in the team tactics, he's the only one set to stay back while attacking. So he kind of comes in, shifts in a little bit, stays central, just breaks any of the play up. And then you also get to use his left foot just to like bomb passes down the channels. And uh, he's really, really exciting. And that, of course, as you would have seen, means we have Kevin De Bruyne as the middle of the three. And this guy is, again, absolutely fantastic. 88 passing, 84 shooting, 85 dribbling. His technical stats are absolutely out of this world, which means you get the ball to him in a tight space. He's shimmying around players. He's sliding passes through the gaps. Absolutely brilliant and uh, really thoroughly enjoy using this card. He's one that you've got to use. In my opinion, if you can't afford him, because he is quite expensive, especially where he's just actually had an inform, which means his normal card price obviously is shot up. You can technically get away with using Moussa Dembele, obviously the, the Tottenham one, or any other Belgian in the Premier League will work, but uh, yeah, it's up to you. I, I'm a big fan of uh, De Bruyne, so that's why I've gone for him. Then, on the right-hand side, you're going to see we have... Jose Callejon, very, very good player in my eyes. I enjoy using him. 90 pace, 83 dribbling, high, high work rate. He does a good job up there. He is your kind of workhorse, the attacking line, but he's also got a bit of skills. He's good on the ball. Big fan of this guy on the right-hand side. And then probably my second favourite player in the team, that's going to be Anthony Martial. Now, this guy, he's a beast every year, but he's very, very good this year as well. He's a bit like Thierry Henry. Pacey on the left, cuts inside, scores goals. He's got four-star skills, 91 pace, 79 shot. Absolutely brilliant player on this game. He's sick. He's quite expensive at the moment. Hopefully, that will come down. But uh, you do also need to have him in the team. You could either use him or Eden Hazard. That's the only way you'd be able to change it up because you're going to obviously see in a second you've probably guessed who the striker is but yeah Martial is absolutely sick cuts in a lot scores a lot of goals good with both feet really because he's got the four star weak foot literally he can cross it in if you need him to he will cut in and score really really good player and uh, definitely offers a lot to the width for this side which obviously is really flipping important and then we're going to go to our final player and that is Dries Mertens. I love this guy so much. Now, I loved Dries Mertens last year. He was one of my favourite players in Ultimate Team when he had his informs move into the striker position. This year, he's amazing again. Dribbling and pace and shooting are so important this year, and he has that in abundance. 89 dribbling, 90 pace, 82 shooting. If you get the ball to him in the box, he will put it in the back of the net. He's a sick finisher, amazing on the ball. He's got his skills. He really does have a little bit of everything. I was lucky enough to try him in a draft before I ended up buying him in the full game, but I I just, I'm so impressed with him. He is so, so sick when you actually use him in like seasons and foot champs and stuff like that. I cannot recommend him enough. Like I said, last year, all his informs were amazing. He's actually got an inform this year. I'm not exactly sure how much he costs. I'm actually just going to see if it, if it would be worth paying the extra. I mean, considering he's about 180 normally, you're going to be looking at an extra 200k for his, his pace to go up one, his shooting to go up two. It's not bad. I personally think his ordinary card is good enough if we uh, if we just compare them side by side it's one extra pace two extra shooting two extra i don't think there's big enough for a change there i think this standard card is absolutely fantastic anyway and i would definitely recommend you trying him out if you haven't already but what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to some gameplay and talk a little bit more about different aspects of the team and why i find them to be so good so obviously we're going to talk about carnesis the goalie he is just really just good like that's all that really matters with him goalies this year they all feel pretty similar there's only one or two players that I uh, goalies I've used that really stood out and it's not that big of a deal for me I feel like this year they're all very similar so just having a higher rated goalie that links all the that parts of the team together this year makes such a big difference in my opinion and then you've obviously got two really pacey fullbacks, pacey centre backs. That defence is so, so good. You're really going to be stopping any dangerous attacks that are coming towards you. The midfield, you've got the absolute strength and beastness with Nemanja Matic just breaking everything up, stopping all the attacks, making sure the team aren't coming forward, the opposing team aren't coming forward. And then you've got the box to box with Rajanai and Golan, which is amazing. He's running up and down those channels, literally covering it all. And then you've got Kevin De Bruyne who's spraying the passes out, getting out of tight spaces. It's the perfect mix in the midfield three, everything you could ask for. It is the most dynamic midfield three you could want. 
And then you've got two really pacey wingers, one that's a lot better at dribbling and crossing and one that's fantastic at finishing. You get the best of both worlds. If you run down the left, you can cut inside and score goals. If you run down the right, you can create chances for Martial at the back post or for Mertens in the middle, who, like I said, is incredible on the ball. His finishing is fantastic. His dribbling's amazing. Really, this team has a perfect mix everywhere you look. And if you have the coins, I would definitely definitely recommend trying it out if you don't have the coins maybe try and do a few substitutions in terms of positionally i mean you can replace like i said de bruyne can be replaced with uh Mer de bruyne can be replaced with dembele which will save you probably 150k i'm not exactly sure how much they are there's a few changes like that you could make maybe look into that maybe even you could put in a napoli cam that would actually work as well so you could save yourself a lot of coins by making a few small changes to the squad but that guys actually brings us to the end of this episode smash that like button if you have enjoyed it subscribe if it is your first time watching have a fantastic day and i'll see you all next time bye guys